What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. For today's episode, seven weeks in the making, I have made it to the finals of the Risk Discord free-for-all tournament. I am so gratified to have been able to make the finals for my second time. Finishing second the first time around, almost nowhere to go but down. So we are seeking a world title today. So we are playing Risk. It's going to be 70%. It's going to be progressive. Reverse world. Um, what else can I tell you? Nothing fancy, no fog, no blizzard, no alliances. Balance blitz dice. Six players remain, and let's go take a look at who is still alive in this tournament. In the lead, in terms of points, we have King John, 2554. 96 points after the first six rounds. John had a perfect game in the semis. What can I say about King John? His generosity jumps out to me. Thank you, John. For all the bits and the subs on Twitch, for playing with me, high skilled, good man, nothing bad to say. I got nothing bad to say about any of these guys. They're all champions, as far as I'm concerned. And I would be happy to consider any of them the world champion, but there can only be one. In second place in this tournament, in terms of points, is myself, Mr. Number Two. What can I tell you? Had two second place finishes in the Grandmasters tournament. I had my own second place finish in this tournament. First time I came around to the community. I did win a world title um, with the Assassin tournament. I would like to think that showing my work on Twitch and YouTube speaks for itself in some way or another. But we are here. We are in it to win it. So wouldn't you guys know if I can... I will take this trophy home. In third place in terms of points, 91 points for Tim. Tim is a back-to-back -back tournament finalist a feat, as far as I can tell, only previously accomplished by Cosmic Cowboy and Cherry. Um, Tim is a methodical opponent. He has been uh, promoted to support staff on the Risk Discord. I always like bouncing off ideas from Tim. We tend to agree in most things. And then it's even more interesting when you see the little bit of difference. I like his style. Tim is a conservative grandmaster. And I wish him the best of luck. Um, in third place, in, in fourth place in terms of points, amongst the players still alive in the finals, a friend of mine. Finley Pope 27, historically not so successful at free-for-all, had um, much more success with 1v1s, but I know Finley, and I know he is no man to be counted out. Thank you, Finley, for your friendship. Um, one of the earliest subscribers to my YouTube, he showed me around the community when I first came around, so that was really, really cool and really special to me. I wish you the best of luck today, sir. Uh, at 84 points, we have the Bull. The Bull is a top 10 Grandmaster, a Discord mod, instrumental in keeping this tournament together. Thank you, Bull. The times that I've played against him, fierce opponent, someone never to be underestimated. I'm grateful for you, sir, and I wish you the best of luck as well. And last but not least, at 82 points, we have Under the Gun. And Under the Gun has come around recently, back-to-back -back tournament semi-finalist, making the finals for his first time. He is a top 10 Grandmaster. Um, world Champion Civ player. Interesting guy. Gave me some perspective on my own game. To you, sir, I wish you the best of luck. And to all you gentlemen, we shall have a good game. And I am ready to face my destiny, so...
Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ready up. We're going in. Woo! Let's go. I am in the fourth position. We start with under the gun. <laughs> A little bit more emoting than usual. Okay, I am the white player. We're playing progressive. We're playing 70. You want 42 territories, I think, but they don't show you. They show you the percentage. Looks like I have an easy line to take a bonus early. Lower Atlantica worth plus four. Not lined up to actually get it on the first turn. Very nicely lined up to get it on a subsequent one, though. All right. Also blocking the shot, so let's just do a little repeat. Do a little repeat off to the side, maybe? Where does Pete fit? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine for now. What if I sit back? Am I gone? Hmm. It is what it is. This map's awkward for shooting. Um... As long as I get good dice, I get the next turn. Bulls after me. Just make sure everybody knows. Under the gun is playing as black. Finley is playing as yellow. Tim is playing as green. I'm white. Bull is red. And John is blue. John is last to act. Can you see stats and friends? You can still see stats and play with friends. Great. Maybe we'll do some stats when there is a lull in the action. Bull is indicating he would like to go down. Okay. Yep, John maintaining multiple positions. that. I don't know where to put my four, though. I guess if I put my four here, he can take it. Okay. Under the gun has bonus turn two. Mediterranean worth plus three. Okay. Fine by me. I can build out of here. I would hope Finley doesn't hang out there, but you never know what people are going to do, particularly opponents of the skill level. Okay, I can't really move my four out. He's trying to move out too, giving that to John. What's that one? Plus three in the Eastern Arctic. Okay. And a 10 stack. It's an easy hit on Bull. Tim wants the whole thing. Where does Bull get a bonus then?
Hmm. All right. Oh, John's not happy. I can move my four out. That four doesn't need to be there. Hmm. Okay. That four's gone. I'm in a single position. Not ideal. Can I work to maintain an exclave? Or will I find myself inevitably in somebody else's way? So Tim's going to be here. Bull's going to be here. I'm going to break me. Sure. Looks like I lose. Okay. How do I not lose? No, it looks like I lose. Cards? Yeah, John is desperate to maintain an exclave. So, I don't think I get to keep one for very long. Under the gun trying to keep his. Mm, that's a big bonus for Finley. Finley getting five. Yeah, that seems like a good move for Tim. Tim has lots of exterior positions. This seems obvious. Might not take, though.
Okay, John breaks Finley. I don't know, it seems risky though. Finley can can hit him back. Skipping. Okay. We're skipping. Finley threatens but doesn't remove the, the position. Mm, threatens. Okay. What do we see from Tim? Very happy to hold. <sighs> Caught back up. I think under the gun's in a bad position because he's in the middle of the map. I'm not in a much better one. John's position sucks. I think Tim wins this game. To be honest. The alternative, though, is that because John has all of these threes, people are reticent to hit him and remove him, right? Okay, so Under the Gun skipped. It's the only one who skips. So Under the Gun gets the 15 instead of the 4. Finley will start the trading sequence one turn late. So Finley gets the four instead of the six. No big deal for Finley. Big deal for under the gun. Successful skip. Cool. All right, Finley sits and gets the four with an extra plus two on that five on my board. I can't say I love that. Don't want to see a five there. It doesn't move up. Thank you, Finley Pope. 27! You're the man. Tim sets and gets the six. It's a Finley two, and pulls away from my border. Things are looking a little bit rosier now, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Okay, one goes there. Let's make that a little bit. Let's make that a little bit, and let's make that. This is what I want to see structurally. Because I have a guaranteed next card there. I have a guaranteed next card there. And I build out my defenses. Four positions, but essentially three, because this is not going to be further militarized, I don't think, between me and Under the Gun. Under the Gun wants to start a war with me. I think that looks like a war we both lose. I'm holding three cards. Ooh, can I make a kill? 
How weak is King John? Not weak enough. John's also in too many places. Alright, I'm gonna go er, John's gonna setting at the twelfth. Remove an exterior position under the gun. Hmm. I gotta say, if I was under the gun, I'd be shaking in my boots. It's a good thing he had that successful skip. All right. Sets and gets the 15. Look at how equal everyone's troop counts are, too. Here's where the prog sequencing matters. This is, for, for a brief moment, it will matter. And then if we hold these bonuses for too long, it will become a stalemate sitch. Okay. And the gun in the lead at 63 troops, followed by King John at 50. I am tied with Bullet 45, and Tim is tied with Finley at 41. Imagine the turn sequence now starts with Finley, so he's going to get his fourth card. Okay. I think this game has the potential to go a long time, and the outcome will be determined by someone trying to go for the 70 and failing, and the next guy in the turn order taking it. That's my call. Let's see how close I am to that being true. Okay, both myself and under the gun Take the pressure off that front. King John doing really well in four places. Doesn't block me from getting a card there. Do we see Finley trade on four? Sets are 20. Does he take it? He does. Do we see movement? Looks like he's trying to kill John? No. Okay, we don't see meaningful movement. Does Tim set? He does. Tim gets the 25, which means I get the 30.
く Bull gets to 35. Next guy to not have a set on four probably dies. Funny how luck matters more when everyone's so good. I'm just trying to calm down. John gets the 40. I get way too wired. <clears throat> and then I'm going to fucking flinch. We got to chill. Mm. Okay, Under the Gun gets the last of the second sets at 45. Does Under the Gun go for a kill now? Probably not. The unprofitably wouldn't get the interior trade. The only way to do it would be to chain a kill into the 70. So this is what I'm looking for now. My card opportunities are becoming more limited. Don't love that. Another set. Oh, 
I don't think that's going for the 70. No, he's going for the kill on Tim. Cool. He's going to kill Tim and set and get the 70. I think Under the Gun wins the game. 31%. Fuck yeah, man. Get it Under the Gun. Fifty-one, fifty-three, fifty-four. I think he gets it. I think we have a champion, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Oh my god. What off? Holy fucking shit. I can't click. I can't click, guys. I'm too excited. I lose because of nerves. Fuck this, Pete. You're a champion. Win. Just win the game. Thank you, everyone, for watching the show. Good game, everybody. Fuck yeah! What is up, risk takers? The decision to ask for donations has been a long time coming. I have always suffered from a bit of imposter syndrome surrounding my work, and having the audacity to think that my words might be able to help you get better at the game. But in the face of overwhelming evidence to the contrary, I find myself as the primary bottleneck keeping this work from growing and reaching many more. Simply put, I am out of time. The only way I could find it is to take it from other areas of my life. So I find myself here, asking for money. If you have found value in my work and would like to support me, I would be grateful. Probably more than you know, I already am. In order to attempt to satisfy demand for all of the interesting ideas players have offered me and all the different types of shows I would like to make, I have to steal this time from other parts of my life that are already profitable endeavors. If you would like me to spend more time making video and less time mowing lawns and plowing snow, I invite you to help make that happen. Long term, I plan on instituting monthly subscriber game analysis, adding in a regular Twitch schedule, and offering a written series on the state of the game and other strategy topics, with fun value additions where I can create them Thank you for watching my show. It would be nothing without you. Please do not feel any obligation. I am grateful for any help given. 
I'm going to add my link to my Patreon to the show notes, and I will put it in all my YouTube videos going forward. Thank you. Parallax. Hey, Parallax. That was amazing. I mean, you were visibly shaking there. I was. I know. And I was like, don't choke, don't choke, don't choke. <laughs> so oh, oh, want I want to bring up yes. your, your, shaky, your shaky hands, Pete. Do it. I, I saw it. Yeah, man. I know. Right at the start of your turn, I just saw the mouse just shaking. You were so nervous, but you had that. I know. Like, there was no doubt about no doubt. not having that. Well, thankfully, those territories are nice and big. <laughs> so I can actually click on them without spazzing out. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> only one person died, right? Uh, who died? It was yeah. Tim, right? Tim yeah. died. So okay. everybody ties for fifth. Fuck. You get first. <laughs> <laughs> and you completely fucked everybody out of rewards. Uh, no, so I think I think they've uh, they've concluded that that's not the way this cookie is crumbling. And, oh, okay, okay. Uh, and they're, do, they're doing tiebreakers for second and third. Good. Thank you. What made you fuck everyone? I would never, <laughs> I would never intentionally fuck anyone, Parlox. You know that. Intent, uh, just accidental accidentally. Fucking. Hey, man, you got to play. The I win, was right? asleep. I was asleep. I sleep fucked you. Yeah. It didn't happen. Whoops. <laughs> it was it wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> So I think this is an opportune time to bring up a subject that uh, would you like to take the floor stove or, or would you like me to? Oh, you know what, dude? Promo? You're so hype right now. I think it's all you. Okay. So yeah, there will be an upcoming concurrent free for all tournament starting immediately after this one. Signups will be posted soon. It will be hosted on the Potato Time server. So I'm gonna post the link to Stove Server to Spuds server um in the show notes um come on down we're gonna do a free-for-all tournament very similar to this one thank you spud before and just in case i do forget thank you for all the work you've done over the years on this tournament bro thank you <laughs> making it happen and now you're gonna do your own thing and i i love it i think it's a great idea so i'm, I'm here to support you thank you yeah man thank you to stormy for being the organizer of this tournament. Thanks to Bull. Thanks to all the mods, all the support staff, all the event helpers. That was instrumental. And I know I'm grateful for everyone's help in this tournament. I had so much fun. I always do. Congrats, Pete, man. Yeah, thank you. You went for it. You shot your shot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so my heart was racing. Like, I I really felt it in my chest. It was I really think crazy. everybody was nervous. <laughs> you, you really I, only, I, you know, one territory <sighs> off is, is literally as close as it gets. I thought you had it. Yeah, I, I could have hit John's one, couldn't I? In the top? <laughs> yeah. Man. I could have split there. I, I kind of messed up the split. I was like in the splitting screen forever and couldn't click. <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it happens, though. It happens. It, I'm pleased with second. I, I could have done it, but it's only my fault, right? Well, that is kind of exactly how I approached it when I got second. I was like, it's almost a blessing in disguise, because now I have to fight so hard to get there again and get that way, <laughs> you know? I'm just glad you made no, it, man. No, uh, no pressure, man. Good. Seriously. We, well, we've seen what the pressure can do to people. As long as everybody's having fun, that is the, the key thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody, you're, you're made to the finals. All six of you guys made it to the finals even the semi yeah. even the semi ah, man great yeah. fucking players great fucking players 100 percent. Well, well now you're pressuring me because you know i got second in one v one tournament so now i have to get first you do you sir okay <laughs> i predicted it would be either a six or first and well at the start it really looked like you're gonna be last you know you, you were having a really rough start it wasn't going well for you i mean my start was fine i under, wonder under, why under the gun decided <laughs> to fuck me over but uh <laughs> well, if you if you one more time you would have been the fish pete yeah you would have been yeah. six well so what's interesting there is like i saw you do it and i was like yeah he's right to do that <laughs> he's not wrong so i couldn't ah. even be mad <laughs> you know thank you man but then everybody <laughs> took bonuses and was super weird well you saw what i did immediately right is i took i took one of your exteriors so what's, mm -hmm. what's the yeah and it hurt there? me it, uh, that will hurt, hurt you long term for sure yeah so maybe it would have been better to just be all chill i don't know i, I didn't yeah, want I, it to be let me, let me get an invite link for you nick i mm -hmm. got you there's no right answer i want to be active i think you you i think under the, the gun you had that you, you... sorry no go go ahead yeah i was just gonna say when when i was 
with Spud and those guys were talking as the game was going on. I said, under the gun's got this. He's just got to split at the top and hit a couple ones at the top of John's and he's mm-hmm. got it. And yeah. he forgot to split and he stopped. And I said, he forgot to split. This could cost him. He might still have it. And he, and then we got to the one territory and we were all like, yep, it was that one little split. You had the, t- you had the troops for it and you just missed it. And, it. and as soon as Pete had his turn, we're all screaming, here comes, <laughs> he's got it. He can go both ways. He's got it. Way wet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that 70% is play. exciting. 70% yeah. really is exciting when you know a person has to catch that good role, that good run and have the right path. He was just, I'm running over everybody to get there. Well, the luck, oh, yeah, too. I had a lot sets of, on he three, hit a lot of back stacks. to t- Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You know? Like, if I fail this, I'm at least fucking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That was great. What a great game. You guys are awesome. The, the six people that played that game, we all didn't know when you're watching the game. You're like, okay, this person has it. No, this person has it. No, that person has it. No, this person has it. It kept changing every turn, right? So oh, yeah. you guys it, it, really it was, made it, it was fun. wild. We had, we had a, a VC going on my server while mm-hmm. watching you. Everybody's like, whoa, there were some power moves coming like really early. Yeah. King John around? King John's I mean, he's he working, he said. I think John had a, had a kill he didn't go for at one point. On who? Oh, no, no. A bull had the kill on John. That's what bull had could have happened. Bull had the kill on John. John. Why he didn't you go for on under the gun. Oh, yeah. I was scared to die as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean, the I fact that, that point, came, uh, King John uh, wrong split, that was crazy. Yeah, it was just the nerves, just the pressure. And I, I had time, but I just... Uh, I didn't calculate it through, I got, I mean, I felt my heart beating in my chest, you know? It's just way different uh, in a situation like this. I wanted I'm, to... sure Pete get, I'm sure Pete gets it. I wanted <laughs> to ask you under the gun. Mm-hmm. Successful skip. Oh yeah, of course. Well, well not of course. <laughs> there was all sorts of things that could have changed that outcome. Finley could have skipped. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the, but you could have gotten eaten. Because you were quite <laughs> no seriously, you were quite concentrated, right? But all things t- all things told, one territory off. Like I would call that, as far as a analysis of whether or not it was correct for you to skip in that seat, I would say absolutely yes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. I, th- I think so. Going first with an early bonus, I like it a lot. I had the troops to survive. You were just in get first the place as well. That was great positioning. Yeah, that's why I always advocate for skipping. I mean, it's it's a tricky move, but uh, I like it a lot personally, and I think it has its uh, its rights in some uh, some situations. I think so too, and I was just impressed to see it in a final. Man, I'm not scared, but uh, I fucked up. So <laughs> was it at all? <laughs> well, you know what? That skip. Just think about it. That skip made the difference of whether or not you could go for the kill and the win at that time. 100%. And when you went oh. for it, it was because yeah. of the skip that you had the card bonus extra oh, at yeah. that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I got all I, the higher I matches. To see you run. I was like, why would he start running? Oh yeah, the card skip gave you that chance because you wouldn't <laughs> have been able to do that without that. Yeah. Yeah, and I lined up the kill for Everybody Tim very walking. sneakily. Killed him without a set to get the set in turn. That was also it's a oh. rare thing. Oh, man. You had a great uh, tournament too, eh, Finn? Feels good. Mm-hmm. You were scared yeah. right off the bat. Same with John, actually. Both of you guys like, wow, these guys have got so many points. And it was kind of a... Yeah, at one point there, he broke me, and I was going to, like, break him back. He was going to break me again because I needed a bonus. But... Yeah. And you're holding a plus seven. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I was that allowed. <laughs> I didn't have a set at four either, so I wasn't going to win that game anyways. Ah, uh, okay. That sucks. I, and that was what I was thinking, too. I was like, man, the next guy to not get uh, set on four mm-hmm. just gets eaten, and then that gets changed. I didn't actually think you were going to go for it when you did under the gun. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, I suppose if I was in your seat, you wouldn't. you probably wouldn't have gotten another turn, so that's just the way it went. Yeah. I, I got some... Like mediocre dice on the stacks of, of Tim as well in the beginning. Like they were all pretty even. Uh, so maybe with a couple more troops. But it only comes down to the splitting, right? It's just uh, calculating it to all, all the way to the end. So I was counting how many territories I could not get. I was kind of trying to do it that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was just, okay, I got to go. Time is up. <laughs> so I just went I, for it. But... I do have one question for Finley. Uh, so you were right after Under the Gun. I was just, mm-hmm. why didn't you do anything? After his, play. I mean, I, I'm on mobile, so I didn't really oh. think I was gonna get it 70. percent I mean, I could have tried, but I doubt I would have gotten it. 
<laughs> yeah. That's fire, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's just leave that up for the rest of the stream. Yeah. No, why, why not? <laughs> Oh, I love that. Thing, I love man. it too, man. Thank you for making. I'm it. so proud of myself. Yeah, for that, man. you should be. It's so dumb, but I love it. It is so dumb. I'm standing on the risk symbol. <laughs> Hell yeah! You're, you're, you're cutting and there's a down horse risk, under it, man. <laughs> oh, oh, the risk so, is part uh, of the, or the horse is part of the risk symbol. I couldn't get rid of that. He's stepping on a risk's uh, name with a horse yeah. and a man on it. Yeah. <laughs> He's writing it all. <laughs> so I don't know if uh, anybody else feels the same way in the community, Pete, but uh, watching you win that, even though I did not pick you like <laughs> a lot of people did to win the game, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think uh, it's an amazing feeling to be sitting on the other side of the fence as a viewer, watching the emotion of that victory for you. It's very, very good to see you fulfill your destiny and get that board with your name on it the kill pete strategy congratulations from all of us thank you maddie it means a lot to me you Congrats, know? Pete. I, I love this community i love you guys um this has been such a important and meaningful part of my life for the last couple of years um and you know when you work really hard at something and you get a little bit lucky or maybe more than a little bit and it all comes together like this this is a pretty special moment for me and I'm very well happy to, yeah, you know, happy to share it with all you guys who kind of helped Thanks make it all happen. Right? Yeah. I'm getting vindicated today. Hey. There, there you go. You can talk, Nick. Nicholas. You there. Welcome. I've been watching in the shadows, Pete. Have you? And? I've been observing oh. your progress. It's very nice to see. Thank you. Why is Nick here? What? See, <laughs> Nick, for the for the first time in history, oh. Nick's not being an asshole. I think if Under the Gun would have broke Pete again, Pete would have said "fuck that" and destroyed Under the Gun's game. Possibly, yeah. No, and then because it's, it's, did break, it's still I the mean, finals. Uh, what I'm gonna throw? I'm gonna throw just to prove a point. I don't know, man. Yeah, you, do it all the time. you never know. Huh? <laughs> if I survived this Capitals game for an hour. I'm the that. winner. That's it. That's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, I guess, eh? You had you had mentioned while you were still in game, like it's it's crazy that that game's gonna come down to luck. Do you feel that it still came down to luck? I had a set on three stove, and my second set on three of the game. Right, right. right. You had the set and on three. You under did. the gun had Just to had to make you. had to make the perfect kind of error. So all of those circumstances had to align. He only needed one territory. That's what Do I'm you saying. Feel like he missed that and it was unlucky. I, okay, so no, he, he made an error. That's yeah. just the way it goes. The luck is more I was in the position after him in order to profit. Right? I could have just as easily been in a different position in the turn order yeah. or on the board to not pay that off and have someone else win instead. So, yeah, I think it was a fairly high amount of luck, all, all things okay. considered. Right? Is that not... A... With, the, with, the, with, the, with the trade on three. All yeah. right, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll give that. But did you? Ha I think you might have had a line of ones. Yeah. Where you maybe could have took it without the set. So as soon as I saw that I had the set, I was going to go for it. Regardless of what Under the Gun was going to do, I was already pathing out my positions to try and capture. But as soon as my turn mm -hmm. started, I was far too nervous to have pulled off that win. Because I would have fucked that up for sure. I would have fucked up my splits or something. So it's interesting. As usual. It's inter yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's interesting to see, right? The... The mechanical failures start to come in when you you care too much about something. It's like, oh, just easily fuck up, right? Uh, yeah. I'm going to take a break now. So let's do a quick promo for the Risk Legends tournament. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Yeah, that, there will that be. That's going go. to be announced very shortly. There will be. Uh, I just real wanted to get through the, this final game. American yeah. dollars on the line. Prize money. The what? Free for all tournament. I'm gonna tell you a secret, so I'm gonna join the tournament. Fuck yeah! Posted on the Potato Time server. We're gonna be running this concurrent to the free for all tournament. So if you have not had enough free for all competition, get ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna make sure that there's an invite link to Spud server, and you're gonna do the announcement and the signups for the tournament shortly. Yes. Yeah. All right. Great. Um, let me say goodbye now. Let me say thank you to everyone again. Thank you to Storm. Thank you to all the mods, all the support, 
all the event helpers, all the competitors. Thank you to the semi-finalists. Thank you to King John, Bull, Under the Gun, Finley Pope, 27. Tim, you guys rock. I am so over the moon to have a title. Thank you, Thank guys. Thank you to the fucking zombies. GG, man. You earned it. Thank you to the fucking zombies. Yeah. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> All right. Be well, everybody. About freaking time. Apparently, I'm joking. He doesn't think me weird. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you didn't think llamas. Thank he you. He specifically needs to be named. Okay. And, and of course. You, said it. <laughs> you know what? You just everyone. I love you all. How about that? I have nothing nothing but love for the people. And be, that's it. Thank you to no one else. Be well, everybody. Be well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast. And I stream on Twitch as often as I can. And now I am proud to say I'm a world champion. Hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.